Though it's the first day of March, the madness is well underway. 24 hours after the state B girls tournament field was set, seven more tickets to the girls double A tournament two weeks from tonight in Rapid City were up for grabs in the Sodak 16. The top seed, O'Gorman, welcoming Pierre in the opening minute. Emma Ronsick, who will of course be playing basketball in a few years at Creighton, and uh, when you can shoot like that, that's part of the reason why is the home team is off to a good start and off on the right foot. However, the Lady Govs, uh, they didn't just come just so they could get a day out of school. Kylie Thorpe with a great drive and score, and the Govs are thinking upset as they go up by one. After a timeout late in the quarter, though, it's Ronsick who said beginning of the year she really wanted to improve her three-point shooting. I, I think she's done that. The Knights trail by one, 10-9 to nine after one, and they take over after that. Reagan Riley gets the kick out and with a foot on the line, hits the long two. O'Gorman pulls away to get the victory, 60-38. to 38. They are heading to state. Couple blocks away on Cliff Avenue, third seed Lincoln hosting Huron. This one not as hotly contested. Start of the third, Maya Wilson, Trabian, extending Lincoln's lead to 25. A few minutes later, it's gonna be Lexi Hochstein keeping it going for Matt Daly's team. Nice little flip up and in. I guess we can call that a scoop shot. The Pats going up by 30 a few minutes later when Hochstein will add a three-point basket. All Lincoln as they impressively punch their ticket to state, 59 to 34. They'll get the winner of the Washington and Rapid City Central game, and it was a very low scoring first quarter. Peyton Reimerson off a nice pass wide open there for the layup, and we're tied at three. Late in the quarter, it's Bryn Heinert getting some something going for the Warriors. She drives inside and flips it up and in. Nice reverse layup there. Warriors still trailed by two at this point, but in the second quarter, they would start to get things going for Jamie Parrish as Brielle Bittler nails a three ball. Warriors go up by three and they go on to get the victory, 47 to 33. Taking a look at some more scores from the rest of the Sodak 16 games. Harrisburg, no problem with Roosevelt in their game. Aberdeen and Brandon Valley were supposed to play. Aberdeen couldn't make it down, so they're gonna play tomorrow at two o'clock. So that's the one Sodak 16 result we don't have yet. Elsewhere, Brookings heading to state for the first time since 2008. Mitchell, the Macy Millers, fighting Macy Millers of Mitchell going to state. They win at 60 to 35. And finally, it's Rapid City Stevens defeating Yankton 55 to 31.